Today, firefighters from 18 area fire departments stepped in to protect Kansas City, Missouri. That's because KCMO firefighters were mourning the death of Fire Captain Robert Bobby Joseph Rocha. Earlier this month, a 29-year-old KCFD veteran died after contracted COVID in the line of duty. KCTV5's Emily Rittman joins us now live to explain how those other departments filled in. Emily? Brad, those firefighters from 18 different departments representing 11 counties answered 911 calls in Kansas City, Missouri to allow those firefighters to pay their respects and mourn. Today was very tough for Kansas City. Bob is a loving, caring, strong, gentle, ultra-friendly superhero who had a knack for having fun, an extreme pride in his vocation, and an awesome ability to make and keep friends who he loved. While family, friends, and Captain Rocha's fellow KC Mo firefighters grieved, firefighters from Kansas and Missouri held the front line in Kansas City. By filling in their stations so their firefighters could attend the services. Oh, I'm part 42, medic 41. KCK, truck 3 on the Heart of America Metro Fire Chiefs Council helped make it possible for firefighters from nearby cities and counties to respond to emergencies in Kansas City. Working to make sure Kansas City was safe today, uh, and I'm aware that they ran many calls, and it's our hope that uh, to the residents of Kansas City that it was seamless service. Well, the horse, engine two. Oh, Olathe, engine 54. At the end of their shifts. Olathe, engine 54, release from your assignment. Thank you for your assistance. Overland Park, point 42, has been cleared. We'll return to our city. Point 42, two, returning to your city. Thank you so much for your help today. The visiting crews returned home to continue to fight both fires and COVID-19 in their own communities. It is not an assignment anybody wants, but it's one they're proud to have. And COVID-19 has claimed the lives of three members of the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department. And city leaders continue to ask that we all do our part to stop the spread. Wearing masks, washing hands, practicing social distancing, and staying home if you are sick. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.